The first full week for June's Traders Contest is coming to an end. So far, more than 800 contestants from around the globe have joined up to try and win the cash prizes, as well as learn from fellow market players. Trader Fractal from the UK had a solid month in May, finishing in the top 50, but now he hopes to push up the leaderboard. One of the strategies that I like to employ in my trading, certainly now, uh, this month and last month, is actually using support and resistance levels an awful lot more in my trading as well as paying very very careful attention to trend direction and one of the things that i think that i learned from taking part in this contest uh, is especially last month's contest where i was doing quite well in the beginning is that you've got to pick your moments when to trade and not attempt to try and be in the market all the time you can choose your moments and I think that if you choose your moments carefully you stand a chance of making far more profitable trades and having far less losing trades. The other thing that I've learned is that money management is one of the core aspects of trading and that if you use correct money management you stand a very good chance of actually retaining your account balance even if you don't win the contest. World peace gained more than 1,000 pips when the dollar Swedish krona soared on the back of the U.S. international trade report. For this trade, Advisor One wrote on his blog, Bollinger Bands on four-hour chart indicate overbought conditions and a lower limit of 106 on Aussie greenback looks like an easy TP level. And he was spot on, winning 140 pips. Trader Helen from China scored 169 pips when the euro dollar dropped after Thursday's US fundamental news hit the newswires. And Australia's Gusman relies on key supports and resistance levels for his trading. He held this position for two days, making 121 pips. Now let's see who has been surging up the rankings and who has been dropping like a stone. There's still a long way to go this month, so there will be many opportunities to try and join the Trader Contest Hall of Fame. Good luck trading and goodbye for now.